Guess what? Bees do a lot more than just make honey. They pollinate a number of foods we eat from berries to almonds to broccoli. These tiny workers are essential to our everyday lives. Fox's Miran Rafferty has more on why some recent thefts are putting beekeepers on high alert. People are buzzing over the recent uptick in beehive thefts in the country. People think they can make a quick, easy buck by stealing hives and putting them into pollination. In the past several weeks, more than 300 hives worth tens of thousands of dollars were stolen in the San Joaquin Valley in California. And another 384 vanished from a field in a county just north of San Francisco. Authorities in central Pennsylvania say about 60,000 bees stolen in their area. Sadly, beekeepers are the other ones, are the only people stealing bees from other beekeepers. Um, you have to have specialized equipment. Our victim, a couple weeks ago, they lost over $150,000 worth of bees. So it's definitely a felony. In the U.S., there are as many as 125,000 beekeepers, according to the United States Department of Agriculture. The annual income from direct honeybee pollination is estimated to be roughly $300 million. Experts are attributing the thefts to a shrinking supply of bees and the soaring cost to rent hives for pollination. It takes us over a year to build a healthy hive. And so when it's stolen from us, it's not something we can easily replace. The thefts have become so prevalent that beekeepers are turning to GPS tracking devices, surveillance cameras and other anti-theft technology to protect their colonies. Officials are urging beekeepers to remain alert. They're also encouraging produce farmers who use bees to pollinate their crops to only hire people who can show proof of ownership for their hives. In Los Angeles, Marianne Rafferty, Fox News.